You're live. There we are. Cool. That's too funny. Um, I feel like my head is like, I had to, uh... Move back a bit, I guess. It's good enough, hey? Yes. All right. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ralphies. We are eating some. Uh, we're having a couple chicken sandwiches. Some barbecue chips. Take one, guy. And oh, chocolate. Ginger ale. Apple. Helly, hello. We have some white chocolate in here, and we have what is it? Some ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah. So we are going to have a little snack with you guys. Well, it's not really a snack. This is like lunch, I guess. I'm going to give them a close-up of my sandwich. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that, guys. Leftover chicken from last night. Red onion. Cucumber. Cheese. Mayo. And lemon pepper. And mustard. Mustard. See the mustard on top? Yep. I was going to put hot banana peppers on it. You should have. But they're... No, nah, I just changed not, my mind. Not in the mood. Mm. So, Nadine didn't want mustard. Yeah, I have everything the same as Daryl. See the lemon pepper? Can you guys see that lemon pepper on the bread? Look. Food looks great. great. Selena. Selena. If we yeah. can't pronounce the name, I think we're just not going to say the last name or first na first name, maybe. Yeah. Because I don't want to butcher anybody's name. Offend anybody? Yeah, offend anybody. But do you guys see the lemon pepper? Look at that. Yummy. On the kabada bread. Kabada buns, yep. Kabada. Yeah. So we have a special, special sandwich artist in the house. Who's that? No. Who am I? Food looks delicious. Thank mm, you. Thank you so much. You guys take the first bite. Mm -hmm. There you go. You gonna give him a bite? Uh huh. I'll just flatten my sandwich. Nobody can see me because of the chips. Oh well, baby, just move the chips over. Move the chips to one side. Just yeah. There you go. It's hard to get centered when you're live because it doesn't record the same as when we just um, record a regular mukbang. See, this should be a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. Oh my gosh, that red onion. Mm. That's a lot of cheese, eh? Uh -huh. So, how is everybody doing today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my. We hope everybody's doing great. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Baby, have some drink. Oh, sorry. We are so cheap, you guys. We are sharing a bottle of pop. Mmm. Cam okay, had some barbecue today. Mmm. What did you have? What did you have on the barbecue, Cam? Chicken. I bet she had a steak. He. I think it's he. Oh, he? Okay. I think. Sorry. A steak sounds good. Do you want to put that over there? Sure. I know it's the trouble when you're sharing. You have to go back and forth through the camera. But it's okay. It's all good. Mm-hmm. some chips? You can put some on my plate, babe. Your hands are clean. grab some? Okay. Excuse us. We had some pork steaks and chicken. Oh, it sounds good. The chicken sounds good mm. for me. Mm -hmm. It all sounds good. Mm-hmm. So. Oh my gosh, this is good. Do you guys like red onion? Tell mm. me if you like red onion. Mmm. <gasps> Oh my god. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that your food from there, man? Your thing? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
so it's a beautiful day where we are. Kristen. Hey, Kristen. What kind of bread is it? Kabata? Mmm. Kabata bread with rosemary. Mm-hmm. Can you see the rosemary? Let's see if I can... See the rosemary right there? Little you green pecks. Do you have any on yours? No, I don't, actually. Mm, there's more up here. It is delicious. It's so good. Got it at our local grocery store. Mm-hmm. In the bakery, of course. If you guys can get it where you are, you guys should absolutely try it. Yeah, she's going to try it. Mm. Hey, Mia, how are you? Mm. I feel so funny sitting, eating live. You? Mm. Mm? I said it in the other live. It's all good. If there's any mistakes, you can't take it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. The brothers don't make mistakes, remember? Sometimes we do. We all make some mistakes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Some barbecue chips. It's a good neck. Oh my. Mmm. Favorite cheese. Parmesan. I like Havarti. We're so glad you're here too, Mia. Mm-hmm. We are doing well. Hope you're doing well also. Yeah, Havarti is my favorite. One of my favorite cheese. Parmesan cheese on pasta. Is that your most favorite cheese? Mm. I love the real strong old cheese. Yeah, I was just going to say, you like old cheese. And strong cheese too, you know? Yeah. Old is good. I'm actually, I like old too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Hi, Melissa. Hi, hey, Melissa. We are originally Newfies from Newfoundland in Canada. Mm. Where are you from, Melissa? That mm. red onion. So good, eh? Oh, she's in Denmark. Wow. Mm. Awesome. Cool. Not sure if you heard where Newfoundland is in Canada, but it's it's on the very eastern part of Canada. It's a little rock in the ocean, almost in the middle of nowhere, would you say? No. Kind of? Yeah, it is. Have you ever had chips in your sandwich? Haha. <laughs> ha. No, we haven't. What's the weather there in Canada right now in El Paso? It is... The comments go so quick. Mm, it's only like... Seconds and they're gone. Yeah, I don't know how to expand it or whatever. There's no, it doesn't say anywhere where to. We tried that before. What's this button here? Oh, yeah, to show. You want me to show? Mm. Hmm. The weather here today um, is sunny. Would you say about 20, 20 degrees? Mm -hmm. Celsius? Yeah. Mm. Look at that sandwich, guys. Who wouldn't want to take a bite of that? Oh my god. So good. The red onion puts the flavor right into mm. it. You guys like red onion? Or, no, raw onion? Or do you like onion at all? We, I can speak for two of us, right? Because mm. I know we both love raw onion. Whether it's sweet onion, Vidalia onion, Red onion, yellow onion. Mm. Oh my gosh, onion is just like oh, so good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm wow. What's more pop? Is onion your favorite vegetable? Um, no. I'll have some in a minute. Um, favorite vegetable. Oh my gosh. Mmm, I would have to say carrot. Carrot's good. Too much onion gives her a belly, gives me a, a belly ache. Wow. Daryl and I could eat 10 pound onion in what amount of time would you say? Three weeks? Yeah, two, three weeks. Two, three weeks. What are we cook for? Just onion. Throwing everything. onion with it. You're making me so hungry. Hope you can grab a sandwich for this side. Or a bowl of cereal or something yummy. 
Mm. Have a guess what we had this morning for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Do we have any food allergies? Well, I can't eat uh, shellfish, like shrimp, mussels, mm -hmm. scallops, stuff like that. But I can eat like codfish, salmon, stuff like that. But How would you explain egg to them? Like, I'm not actually allergic mm -hmm. to egg. I guess it's just the texture and the smell. I just, I cannot eat it. Because if I eat it... You can eat it in a cake mix. Yeah, in a cake mix. Or muffins. But I can't eat like an egg omelet or anything like that. What do you guys like to eat the most? Home cooked meals. Mm. Wouldn't you say? Uh-huh. Anything that's home cooked. I love meat and potatoes. Do you love meat and potatoes? I really like pasta. I love pasta. <laughs> pasta loves me too. It clings right to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretty much eat anything, but yeah, you with the eggs and the shellfish. No, yeah. But other from that, I'll try anything. I love rice. Oh, thank you, Mia. Gerald makes a really, really good mean pot of rice. Oh my god, you can put like veggies and everything in it. Or just a regular pan of rice. Pasta. We gotta wash the pasta. Selena, you guys should try Portuguese food. And that's what I got. Mm, me do. You're supposed to read the ending, you remember? <laughs> <laughs> Portuguese food. We're gonna have to look it up and see if we are able to eat it. Mm -hmm. I just don't eat pork or red meat. Daryl does. Mm -hmm. I eat chicken and fish, like cod and salmon, shrimp, mussels. Gerald, would you like to make an ASMR with a whole fall off the bone or sesame chicken sometime? I would love to see you eat that. Mm. Wow. Could you eat a whole chicken? I don't know, but I'll give it a try. I could try. ASMR, that's a good idea. Yeah, I need a pen when you're ready, baby. Mm, I'll go grab one now. Uh -huh. Melissa, um, been to U.S., U.S.A., States, and I've been to Cuba. That's it, though. Mm -hmm. I know. And Canada. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just Canada and U.S. So far. So far. Mm -hmm. We just can't wait to travel to other countries. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love to visit India someday. Oh yeah. Can't wait to go to India. We have friends from India. They're living here in Canada. Very sweet people. Um, but they often say when they go back home they want to take us home with them. We should totally come to Denmark. Mm. There's an idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ginger ale's good. Oh. Oh, that's good. Good choice. We forgot to say hello, sweet nectarines. We wonder her getting into saying it, but you guys are her sweet nectarines. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. So what are you guys doing today? What's the plan where you are? What time of day is it where you are? Mm. What's the weather like? It's three. 13 p.m. right now, where we are, mm -hmm. Sunday. Hey, Vanita, 11.30 in India. Mm. Um, I think that's 11.30, is it 11.30 p.m.?
11.30 p.m. Wow. No pets. And Melissa? Just my husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's my pet. You're my pet, too. Yeah. So we have each other for our pet. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Pennsylvania, 217 in my fourth today. Just enjoying the beautiful weather. Watching my favorite mukbangers. Oh, yay. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much. We love you, Mia. Mm -hmm. We love all of our subscribers. Mm -hmm. We love hanging out with you guys. I think we're going to be doing a little bit more live mukbangs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would you say? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I like, enjoy doing them, like answering questions. Mm hmm Like every weekend or every second weekend, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And if Daryl gets in the mood some evening and wants to, do you like dumplings and South Asian buns? Never had South Asian buns. No. And dumplings, like the Asian dumplings, never had them, have we? Not See, that's why we need a pen, baby. Okay. I got, I sorry, forgot about that again. Sorry, honey. Mm-hmm. Got to take some notes on your guys' suggestions so we have it close, you know, at hand. Mm -hmm. Oh, Selena. Indian food. Um, Vanita, did you see? Excuse me. Did you see the Indian food? Yep, see it, Cam. Um, we did an Indian mukbang back in Newfoundland. Back in Newfoundland, yeah. How many months ago would you say? Mm. Not a, is it a year ago? No, 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 no. Four That's... months, four or five months? No. Is it? We've been here. Yeah, but it wasn't over last winter, so it was before. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like eight or nine months ago around that. Mm. But anyway, if you just search us up on YouTube, um, Indian mukbang, Darrell Feast, you'll see us. And yeah. Um, so we did do one, but we're going to do another one. Excited to do another one. Mm -hmm. Um, just got to take some notes, you guys. I'm trying to rip this in half. Um. It's good stuff, isn't it? Mm. My hubby makes the best sandwiches. Messy, but they're good. Mm. So good. Have some more chips? I'm gonna cut a couple here. Oh, oh I missed, I missed it. it. Oh, mm. shoot. Sorry. Mm. Do I even know who it was from? I'm so Fade, quick. Faded right out. Oh my gosh, this is good. Mmm. Kabata bread is so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Nope. The wife is taking notes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thanks, me other. Yeah. Um. What was the other one? Portuguese. Somebody said too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, sorry. Um. Technically, there is an Indian shop here, a restaurant here. I can't mm -hmm. remember the name on that one. Uh, Very nice shot. We were in there looking at the menu. Took the menu home. Um, there's no Portuguese uh, restaurant here, not to my knowledge. Not to mine either. We um, have to look around more. Yeah. We'll have to check into it. Maybe there is one there. Hmm. Downtown, maybe? I don't know. There's lots of like Asian um, markets. Thank you, Renita. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, 
really it's just wash shampoo I double wash my hair with shampoo and for conditioner if I use too much conditioner up on my scalp I find my head a little bit not pleasant so I just make like a ponytail in the shower and I just put conditioner back on the ponytail that's my only secret I have never in my life ever dyed my hair never mm -mm. I haven't have I no I tried putting a perm in oh <laughs> Melissa I think I'll answer that question another time um but yeah that's that's my that's my tricks and secrets with my hair that's it and wash and condition my hair every day that's it I stay away from um, I stay away from like dyeing my hair. Uh, yeah, yeah. My hair is really virgin hair. It is. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. It is. What's your favorite video to make for this channel? What was our favorite video? Who? Oh, I think for me. Excuse me. For me, it was the video of our thousand subscribers when uh, we did our love story. Oh yeah, yeah. I we just met. wanted to hear a Canadian's perspective. Sorry if I offended someone. No, 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 no offense, no offense. Mm -hmm. Not here. No. Um. I said to someone a long time ago. I said, "I'm not very political," and they said do you have opinions on things and i said oh yes i have opinions on things they said you're political then hmm. um it's true it's true but i really didn't look at it like i was political me either but when you do have thoughts and opinions on something clearly you're political you you know you can make decisions on your own right um i don't know yeah not really I don't, I don't know if I want to get in. I want to get into that, but we will another time, maybe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just as fish and chips video, crunchy. Uh, if you are for Indian food next, then you could try butter chicken, onion. What was it? Onion. I never caught the rest of it. Butter chicken. The last thing you said, Benita, sorry. After butter chicken. We tried. Did we do butter chicken in that last mukbang, that last Indian one? Yeah, we did. What, did we? Mm. Benita, did you see our Indian mukbang back in Newfoundland? Onion fritters. Onion fritters. Um, onion onion fritters? fritters. Really? In Indian cuisine? Mm. I never heard that. I never eat her. I didn't even think I seen that on the menu. Later. Cool. We're gonna have to try it. Absolutely, sweethearts. I have been watching you guys for a while now, and I just love your videos. I got my whole family hooked. Suit sounds weird, but I feel like it's gone. Yup, that's called pan panoka. Is it? She said. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I wish the. I don't know. Would stay there for a little bit. The comment it just goes too fast. Um, mm. on your fritters, right? Yeah, on your fritters. Mm-hmm. We never even heard that type of um, food no. in the Indian cuisine from our Indian friends. They never even mentioned that. But the samosas? Have we tried those samosas? No. No. But we want to try them. We will try them someday. We will try them. That's right. Mm-hmm. Rather sooner than later. I was saying I got my whole family hooked on you guys. That's awesome. Cool. Awesome, Drake. So Thank where, you. where are you from, Drake? Are you Canadian? Can you please make more dessert videos? But you have to make it all. Oh, your desserts look so amazing. Samosas, they are delicious. Toronto. Oh, cool. Drake's Canadian. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ever been to the East Coast, Drake? Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. The sandwiches are filling, man. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of bread. A lot of dough. 
Mm. Hey, bye. Yes, bye. No, but I hope to visit. It's pretty cool here. Mm. I guess Toronto, is Ontario is really, really busy. Here on the East Coast, everything is more laid back, country, lots of farmers. Where we live, there's lots of potatoes, carrot. What else? Turn up. Turn up. Cabbage. Cabbage. It's really cool because in the fall of the year, you get to see these great big trucks. What kind of truck is it? Like tandem truck. Like a tandem truck. And the, and the back of it is like full of potatoes, which is very normal for here mm. but then you'll see another tandem truck with like all carrots mm. another one Round with, right yeah another one with all turnips it's uh -huh. really really cool lots of farmers here mm -hmm. we love it here love it on this side of canada mm -hmm. we have been at west though mm -hmm. Where? least favorite thing to eat least least favorite thing huh hmm for me, it's savory dishes. I know that sounds odd and weird. I'm really into the sweets and stuff, and I know sometimes some people just don't like that or whatever. But for me, I just have the sweet tooth that always have it on my head all my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really into savory dishes. Like, I mean, like casseroles and cooked meals. I don't know. I eat lots of it, but yes, we do love apple picking. Mm -hmm. Apple picking is big here in the fall, too. What's one of your least favorite things to eat? I don't know. Downtown Toronto. Busy, busy in Toronto downtown. Mm -hmm. I would say I it's bet. busy. Mm -hmm. I bet so. So what's your least favorite thing to eat? I don't know. I pretty much like everything except eggs and shellfish. Pancake video. I did a couple pancake videos. Maybe it's the one that's recent. Oh. I get my mouth. Did you say my, what? Did my, you? Sorry. My least favorite thing is probably soup. Oh yeah, that's right. No, I like soup flat out every day. I could eat soup all the time. You don't I'm like not food. fussy on soup. Especially in the summer. No. Don't soup. try. Don't try to get Daryl soup in the summer. He's like, why do I have to eat this hot substance right now in the summer? <laughs> huh. You don't mind it in the fall and the winter too much. No. No. The reason one strawberry is yummy. Yes, yes. Well, it's summertime, so I think we should try out some of Nadine's recipes. There you go. Did Good you guys choice. did you guys check out Rise Wine and Dine? Mm. Gosh, that's filling. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You should test on that one. Like the nights. I want to eat shrimp and the nights you want to eat beef. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Have we just started doing mukbangs? It was in Newfoundland. Yeah, but what, what inspired us to start doing mukbangs? Well, I was uh, on YouTube one day. <laughs> well, we used to like do vlogs and stuff like that. In the very beginning of this channel. Mm, in the very beginning. And uh, then I seen we wouldn't get in a big lot of views and stuff like that. So I was going through YouTube and scanning through the videos. And I clicked on this ASMR mukbang video. And I seen this lady or guy, I can't remember what it was now. I know, I wish we could recall the video. Mm. And ever since then, I, like I tried it. And that. upload the video that that night, yep. Wasn't it? Yep. and it was a bag of chips actually. And ever since then, we've been giving her flat, flat out, out uploading okay. videos, mukbang ASMR, and the views is like getting better. Mm -hmm. Better than yes, vlogs or vlogs. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. How long have we been married? Trying to think now. Oh my god. Three, two and a half years. What year are we in, babe? 17. Yeah. yeah. And we got married. In February. So this February, it will be three years. Mm-hmm. Together a lot longer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nice. Did you watch Mummy Tang? Yes, love Mummy Tang. Mm. Mm hmm. Love Mummy Tang. 
Hey, Tang Gang. I can, I'll never do it like Mommy Tang. Hmm. Of ours, Cam? Or somebody else? Oh my gosh. I have others. Favorite video. We're both just really, really hooked on Quang Tran. Love Quang Tran. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we do love Mummy Tang. Uh, Amazon Kitchen. Amazon Kitchen. You guys ever check out Amazon Kitchen? They're amazing. Really, really good. It's two gentlemen. They go into the woods. Not sure, sincerely, and with all due respect, not sure if they're brothers or if it's um, cousins. They are so relaxing. But anyway, they go into the woods and they cook up this, would you say, scoff, like a load of food? Yeah, like Sometimes it. it's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. We don't have a P.O. box yet, Drake. Um, let's see. That's something we may do. This week, Soon. this week or mm -hmm. next. Um, yeah. So we may do that. Yeah, this week or next. Get a peel box. Mm. So we've been thinking about that for a while. For quite some time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amazon, Amazon Kitchen. Well, that's a good question. Quang Tran is the best, Benita. He's huh. the best. Um, what was the question just then? P.O. Box? No, after P.O. Box, honey. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Our memories are good, but they're short. <laughs> that was a good question, too. Can you type it again? Sorry. Kwong is really good though. Oh, vegan or vegetarian? Yes, yes, vegan. Um, the kids will answer that one in a future Q&A or live later on. Um, I only like chicken and fish. And some days, you guys, like seriously, I'll have a really, really hard time trying to swallow chicken. It's, it's odd. I don't even get it yet. Like today, it's not bothering me at all, but there's some days I really got to have something all over it to try and get it down. So I'm kind of like wanting to lean a lot more, yes, toward vegan. Um, but I'm not sure if Daryl could no, I don't go, think. go that way. Daryl really likes his meat. Mm. Yeah, I guess I'm not really vegetarian right now either, but I eat very limited. What's your favorite kind of meat protein? Mm. Well, I like steak, uh, sirloin, uh, T-bone, or like burgers and stuff like that. So beef? Beef, yeah. Beef. <clears throat> you don't eat a lot of pork. No. It's very, very seldom that I have to cook pork or that Daryl cooks pork. Mm -hmm. Right? I like beef. I like chicken. Fish. I can eat pork, but I'm not that fussy on it. What's our background? Can you elaborate, Drake? Our background. Religious. Um, we used to go to different churches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a hard time with it, Salima. We used to go to churches, but we've got hurt by um, too many churches way across, right from one end of Canada, right to the other end. We've tried, and we've, God knows our hearts, we've tried to continue going to churches. But because of different things that has happened to us, actually, we just kind of figured we're going to step back, right? Mm -hmm. We still trust God. We still serve God. For sure. We read our Bibles. We read our Bibles. We try to live a good, decent life. Our jobs, we'll get into that later. What what, what, what was that last thing? Uh, Dra I couldn't Drake, catch it. Like, and something about parents. Oh, the video with our parents, probably. 
Oh, okay. The video with her parents that was back in Newfoundland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very pretty, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Parts is very. I say sometimes, like, I don't miss Newfoundland at all. And I really don't, but... <clears throat> excuse me. Some of the things that I do miss with Newfoundland is, like, fiction. Gerald loves to do everything in the woods. Mm-hmm. I just love doing whatever Daryl does in the woods when he wants to take me, which mm -hmm. is all the time, really. Mm. I like fishing and I'm well, not really hunting, but no, just fishing. Just jumping on the four wheeler to quad and going out in the woods and berry picking up in the woods. And that's like, I love that. Mm -hmm. We should tell them a quick little story. Remember the very was it the very first time we went out in the woods on quad? And I said to you, I said, I really feel like we should go up this little side road up a little hill. Mm -hmm. Where are your parents from, your background? Two of us, we're all, two of us are from Newfoundland and that's where, yeah, our parents are from. Mm -hmm. Newfoundland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we were going up this like real big dirt road, right? Like way on into the woods on quad. And Daryl passed this little road that was going to the left, like going up like a hill. Mm -hmm. And he just passed it. And I nudged him like in a side because I was sitting behind him on the quad. And he said, turn around. He goes, what? What's up? And I said, that road back right there. I said, we should go up there. Something about up there. Something about it. I can't kick it. I said, can you turn around and we'll just go back up there for a minute? Went up there. And was it a bog? Wasn't a bog. What was that? No, it was just a cutover. Cutover. It was a cutover. And when we looked, two moose. Mm -hmm. Were they really close? They weren't yeah, too they far wouldn't. apart. No, they weren't too far apart. No. There was two moose. What kind of moose were they? Like it was a bull and a cow, I think. Yeah. Right? Husband and wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here was two moose, like, looking at us and on the cutover. And I just couldn't kick this feeling. I was like, you know, something about up there. I want to go back. I'm so glad Daryl took me back. I got to mm. see two moose, like, right here staring at us. And then I was thinking, oh no, if they charge at us. But it wasn't fall of the year, was it? No. It was summer, so we were kind of safe. We were safe. And they were far enough away, like they wouldn't close. Mm hmm Yeah. But it was cool, though. How do you guys? Respond to hate. Um, thank God, Melissa. There's not too much right now, which is good. Usually ignore it. Hey. Hey. Um, yes, we're gonna mention you in a minute. This this new um channel you guys hold on hold the boat. What was the same? Oh hate. So we don't usually respond to the hate. There's just been one or two cases where we actually had to go and block mm -hmm. a couple people. And we don't like doing that. No. We don't like it at all. But we're not gonna sit back every day and watch hateful comments come on our videos when we feel in our opinions. We're just trying to be loving, decent people. Yeah, I know, right, Cam? Like, when you put out a good, healthy mukbang, veggies, fruit, a healthy breakfast, there's not a lot of real good, nice comments, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. From, like, the haters, I guess you would say. But when you put up something that's fattening or greasy or whatever, there's all kinds of hate. It's like, okay, did you miss all these other videos? Hello? Yeah, it's just, uh, so that's kind of how we deal with the hate. Um, we have this new channel that you guys definitely have to check out. Um, V-I-L-M-V -V is the channel name. It's a, a lady. She is from Finland in Northern Europe between Sweden and Russia. And she just put out her first mukbang yesterday. I didn't get her name. I don't know if she wants to release her name or not. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the name of her channel. V-I-L-M-V. -V. So you guys should definitely hop over. Check her out. I really like her content. We both mm. like her content. It's a really good, cute little channel. She's done a very good job. And if she continues to do what she's doing, in our opinions, we think she's on the right road. V Vilma. Vilma? Am I saying that right? Vilma. Vilma, yeah. Vilma. Cool. So there you go. There you go. That's her name. I watch you so much and I really like to see those videos of me and you. Yeah, so you guys need uh you guys need to check her out. And if you like her, make sure you subscribe to her channel, leave her some good 
uh, you know, positive vibes, good um, opinions and stuff. If you enjoy our channel, I we think she's really good. The last V is upside down like A. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I was trying to figure that out yesterday. Yeah. It's like, I don't get this. I'm not sure. But, you know, sometimes people code stuff differently, right? Awesome. Very good channel. Check her out, you guys. We don't. Oh, my God. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> um, we don't usually spend too much time apart, you guys. No, whether it's like going grocery shopping or. I don't know, going out for a walk. Or yeah, we're like always, we're always, always together. Always together, yeah. Like when we're going out grocery shopping or going out for a walk or something like that, we hold hands sometimes and people looks at us like we're doing something. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think that was straight. I'm pretty sure that was straight. Thank you for that last comment. Putting smiles on people's faces is awesome. Mm. But yeah, we don't really spend too much time apart. No, we like. We don't. We both love each other and mm -hmm. want to be around each other. She's my wife and she's my very best friend. Oh my god, and I feel the exact same way. Mm. So, why not be happy and why not be together? Encourage others to be happy, mm -hmm. just like us. That's what I said in our last. Like, why marry someone if you if you haven't got a heart for her? Yeah, if you're not content. Or your partner. Yeah. Him or her. Yeah. Him or her. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yep. Yeah, make sure you're in love, you guys, before you run out and get married. Because mm. to us, how we feel about marriage is, we talked about, we just talked about that a couple of days ago. Mm. You know, like, divorce is not really an option for us. No. 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 It's like, for us, it's like, Till we take our last breath. And we always look at each other and smile and go, you know, we're both going to die when we're 99. And we're both the same age. and Because mm -hmm. there's only months between us, really. Really. I know, Vanita. I know. Are you married, Vanita? Do you have any kids? Oh my God, Cam, Cam, we had, oh my God, I think it's the world's smallest wedding. Do you think? Well, it was very, very small mm. and it is exactly how I wanted to turn mm. out. You? Me too. You? Uh-huh. It was so small. It was so perfect. Um, yeah, it was perfect. And we got married in the coldest, coldest temperatures. It was like minus 55, 60. It's crazy. When we were getting our engagement pictures done on an ice roller up in northern Canada. I see that, Benita. It was really cold. Mm -hmm. It was really, really cold. Mm -hmm. Really cold. And the photographer there was like, oh, froze. Small wedding works for us. Mm. We have been married uh, three years, we said, I. Eh? Well, this February coming would be Fe three. Yeah, February coming would be three years, yeah. Mm -hmm. But been together a lot longer than three years. Mm -hmm. Yep. And wouldn't have it no other way. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. What's your favorite pop, guys? You guys like ginger ale? Do you like light pop, dark pop? Or do you like any pop? We don't drink pop every day, though. No. So much sugar. Mm -hmm. But it's so good. We have five cases of water sitting right here behind us. Or not behind us, in front of us, but behind you guys. Five cases of water. We don't drink the tap water. We buy reverse osmosis water for a kettle. Mm -hmm. um, when we go cooking, we use reverse osmosis water majority of the time. Mm -hmm. BBB 11 MMM. I you, love spicy food. But not forever. You not you never loved spicy food like forever. No, no. When we first got together, man, you wouldn't touch black pepper. I didn't like 
Yeah, I licked a bit of salt, but I didn't... You didn't even eat black pepper. But now I'm into spicy stuff. We have tried hummus before, Cam. Um, I'm just going to write that down. We've tried hummus before. Take I'm not gone... What, baby? Take yeah. the plate. Anyway. Thank you. I'm not gone on the texture of hummus. Are you? How do you feel about hummus? Remember we had it with crackers about a year ago? Yeah, it's been some time. I think we did it in an older mukbang. Remember oh, in yeah. Newfoundland? Hmm. In the car. We did a lot of car mukbangs in Newfoundland, you guys. Um, yeah, but the texture for hummus. Coconut water. Wow, coconut, you like coconut water. Um, we tried coconut water. I love ago. coconut it's water. It's funny, Daryl loves that. I absolutely that. love it. The, the little, little uh, pieces of coconut in the water, and it's so milky. And, oh, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, you like the coconut oh, water. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I had to pick some more up. Pakistani food, there you go. Flavored sparkling water. Is that good? We see a lot of mukbangers drinking that. That is something we need to try. Mm -hmm. Pakistani food. That's something else, too. I guess maybe with some of those... Can I have an accident? A, pl a clean oh, napkin there? Um, I guess with some of these, um, like, Pakistani food, por Portuguese food, even Indian food, um, I'm thinking... Thank you, babe. Yep. I'm thinking that uh, we could even, you know, make it at home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, boy. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting to do some mukbangs. Look up with... some recipes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would be interesting. For sure. I'm having some, we are having some white chocolate, you guys. You guys like white, cho white chocolate? Tell me, Is tell Nadine me. Nadine's gonna have some white chocolate? Oh, Nadine's having white chocolate. <laughs> We ate your um, milk, milk chocolate, chocolate a couple of nights ago, didn't we? Yeah. Coconut water is great for summers, yes. Uh-huh, it is indeed. We make um, like our detox water here in the house, Vanita. We put together um, lime, butter, spice in the grocery store for Indian foods. That's mm. awesome. Yes, that's right. We have an international, great big international aisle in our grocery store. And, uh, yeah, we, we bought some stuff from there already. Yeah, we did. Yeah, um, yeah our detox water. Um, we put together lime, lemon, cucumber, and mint. Oh, in a great big jug. Mm. Blast jug. Really, really, really good. So good. So pretty, yes, we do care about our fans big time. If mm -hmm. it wasn't for you guys, we'd be sitting here eating, looking at the camera all to ourselves like a bunch of two loners like we yeah. would be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We love our subscribers and we're so thankful for each and every one of you guys. Mm -hmm. Totally. White chocolate, you guys. Have a bite. You know you want a bite. Look at that. So good. This is from, is it Belgium? Belgium white chocolate. Is this Belgium? No. For, yes, it is. What? This chocolate. It's Kindor. Hmm? Yeah, no, but the, the where it comes from, honey. Oh. I think it's Belgium. I, don't know. I think. It's so creamy. Mmm. Mm hmm. Here's a bite. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Cam, too funny. Do we mix sweets with savory like chips? Oh my, that is something mm. that Daryl got me into. For overnight, we keep it for about one day, Vanita. Um, the savory with the chips, Daryl, just recently really, Daryl's mm. did it all of his life, but he just got me into it not too long ago. We'll take out like a chocolate bar with chips mm -hmm. and be like, and then Ian, just take a little bite of the chocolate and have some chips in the same mouthful. And I did do a recipe, something like this. It was a sweet and savory uh, bark. Um, rise wine and dine if you guys haven't checked it out you should check it out it's really really good but yeah that's something that daryl does now he'll get like he'll take like a bite of um milk chocolate and then he'll have some chips and he's like try it nadine so i tried it and that now that's like how i like to eat chips and bar mm. mm -hmm. that's good what's some really good combos when it comes to flavored chips and bar what would you say well, you like uh, 
popcorn and what was it? What do you mean? You pop some popcorn and you put something in with it. Oh, like, um, you know those tiny, tiny, little, tiny peanut butter candies? Mm. Put them in um, a great big dish of hot popcorn. And the peanut butter candies, they warm up. Yeah. Um, Drake, we're hoping to get on that soon. Do some more big homemade burritos. I didn't get the end of that. Um, homemade burritos. There you go. Homemade Can't burritos. Can't go wrong. Chips and chocolate. Mm -hmm. If you guys never had it before, check it out. Oh, you gotta try it. You totally gotta try it, guys. Yeah. I'm not a fan of white chocolate. You're not, are you? No. You gotta be when when you gave me okay. all, all your milk chocolate. You don't want this? No, thanks. Why? I'm not a fan of white chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like some milk chocolate or real dark chocolate. That dark chocolate, even when they put, like, you can buy it with, like, pineapple in it or coconut in it. For me, it's still so dark, I just can't. I find it hard to take in dark chocolate. Mmm. White chocolate. Ho, ho, ho. I'm going to struggle to get into my candy, boys. I'll get into an after all. Those caramel. I got no. Yeah. No. Thank you. You guys want? Look. They'll take them. Ho oh, ho ho! Look at that caramel. Hmm. There you go, brother. Some good, no? Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm quiet again. Do we have any foods that we just can't say no to? For me, produce. I just cannot get enough produce. Seriously, that's what I'm saying. Like, some people on the channel, on our channel, gotta be like, oh, that's not healthy. Oh, you need to do more healthy mukbangs. Yeah, we agree. Mm. But I don't think there's any mukbangers that does 100% healthy or 100% junk food. Maybe there might be some that does 100% junk food. I don't know. Mm. But um, I don't know. For me, it's produce. So when we're not recording, we eat a lot of produce. Mm -hmm. yep. You open our fridge door, all you see is green. Mm. Green onion, spinach, broccoli, cabbage. Um, oh my god. Brussels sprouts, asparagus, like. The list can go on. Oh yeah. And on. Mm hmm Celery. Celery, yep. Celery and rice. Y'all just made, oh. just made some rice Yes, oh. yesterday. Mm. We got lots of rice left over. We love rice. Mm. Shores. No, you give her. Uh -uh. I'm good now. I have my fix with my chocolate. Like, you know what? I couldn't even sit here on or off camera. Like, honest to God, I could not sit here and eat this entire white chocolate bar. I would be so sick. But I feel like, you know, every now and then, I deserve maybe a quarter of the bar or one-eighth of the bar. You know? Maybe half of the bar. But to eat an entire bar, I would be sick. Tell the truth. <laughs> we need to tell the truth. Oh, we need to tell the truth. I'm joking. You're looking at me like I eat, I eat an entire bar? No. Have you yet ever seen me eat an entire bar this big? Hmm. No, but you, you know, <laughs> like you, you know, you can get the three, the package of the three um, chocolate cups. I like the three of them, no trouble. But like to me, this is almost like a king size bar. This is kind of like this, you know? That's a lot of bar. I would be well, like that. Uh, or you loves that uh, that wafer bar. What do you call it? What do you mean? 
Oh, I can't remember the name of the bird. I know. She, yeah, she, she has a really, really good appetite. And I kind of, like, admire her because I'm like, girl, I wish I could put away the food like that. Because if I could, I'd, be, I'd probably be doing it too. Mm. What were you saying? The bird looks with a wafer in it. What's that now? It's only about that line. The melts in your mouth look. I know they all melts in your mouth. Got a wafer inside. Starts with a B, don't it? A bueno. Yeah. A bueno. Kinder bueno? Kinder bird, yeah. Kinder bueno, yeah. They're good. Bueno? They're really good. No, I'm good. Excuse me. Oh, look. Guys. It's so squished. You gotta squish right to death. Look, look. Well, I gotta get squished to eat it. You're like a big kid, honey. Get in close, baby. This is ASMR, huh? I could listen to this man eat for hours and hours. Thank you so much for the sandwich. Thank you too. That looks so good. Yes, bye. So, what time is it? Five to four. Mm -hmm. My gosh, we've been on 56 minutes. See, it doesn't feel like we've been on an hour. Last time we went live, we were on for, what was it, two hours. I know. Wow. Yep. Mm. So what's new? Not much. Not what you saw. Nothing. So cute, Vanita. Mm. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so Vanita, are you are you dating? Are you? Um, I, I guess I'm not sure. In India, um, there's a. I think there's like um a good portion of people that uh, wait for um pre is it called pre arranged marriages? Did a friend our friend had a pre arranged marriage? Mm, yeah, he, he was living here in Canada for a while. And he went back home and he got married and he brought his wife back here to Canada and we met her. She's so sweet. So um, I'm just curious, are you waiting for like a prearranged marriage or are you um, going out and like dating or I wonder, I wondered about that a couple times when I seen your comments come in, Vanita. I would love to meet you sometime. Yeah, for sure. That would be cool. Shout out to E T E T A B N A J I. I don't even know how to pronounce that. E Tab Na Naji. Is that it? Maybe. Are we close? I hope so. Yeah. Hope you guys don't get offended if we can't pronounce. Yeah, your name's right. Your sorry. channel name or yeah, whatever. Yep. Yes, thank you, Isa. Awesome. Mm. Cool. Perfect. So where do you live? Itab na na and I Naji is it is that I said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now we are opening up the new one. I am dating someone. That's awesome, Vanita. Cool. I hope that's going awesome for you. San Francisco. San Francisco. Wow. Wow. Cool. You're in the states. Awesome. How do you like living there? What is the weather like there today? Oh, I would say it's warm. Anywhere in the States is warm mm. compared to Canada. What? Huh? Mm. Some days. See. It's warm here, but like the States get it hot, man. They get it really hot. I know where Divine Munchies is living right now. She's in um, Arizona, right? I think she yes. said She said in one of her recent mukbangs that it was so hot that the planes couldn't even fly. That's hot. Mm. That's hot. Really hot. We don't get it that hot here. It's awesome. Pretty hot here, I would say. Mm. Look at it. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's hot everywhere in the States. Mm -hmm. I say even Maine. Just like on the border up by Canada here, I would say it's even hot there too. Yeah, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well... Two seconds and we'd be on for one hour. Oh, no, it's gone past. 60 minutes now. Mm -hmm. We're on for an hour. 
<laughs> so there you go. Yep. So what's the plan? My wife is so adorable. Oh, you, you? you are too, honey. Mm -hmm. How are we? We are good. We are fine. We just finished eating. Um, a chicken sandwich. A chicken sandwich on kabata bread. With barbecue chips. Barbecue chips. And we're so full now. And for dessert, we had white chocolate. Yep. To Nebraska State wants hot and dry. They're a good experience. Oh, Nebraska. Mm. Wow. We know people in Nebraska. That's too cool. That's awesome. Mm. How long was your visit there, Vanita? Wow, that's too funny. She said of all states, imagine Nebraska. Nebraska, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. We have some dishes we have to look up to after. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. We have to eat a whole rotisserie chicken. Mm. I'm gonna give that a try. Are you gonna give it a try? Yep. That should be interesting. Mm hmm I don't think I'd be able I wouldn't be able to get it. Would I get a quarter of a chicken now, you think? Yeah, maybe. I might be able to do a quarter of a chicken. The worst thing, the white meat is always dry. You need something to dip it in, eh? Well, of course. Yeah, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, toy sauce. Toy sauce. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. Two months. Oh yeah. Cool. That had to be an enjoyable visit. Awesome. Mancha. Have you ever been to Canada, Vanita? I wonder. What part of India is our friend from? Can you remember? That's a long name, isn't it? Yeah, it's very... Is it's from the, the southern whatever. Is he down, from down south? Mm -hmm. In India. Mm -hmm. I could almost text him. Let's see. She haven't been to Canada. Hmm. You have to come visit sometime. For sure. I'm wondering if it's in the messages. Oh, that would have been a long time ago. Hi, bye. Hmm. I believe it starts with an S. I do. Oh, Carol. Carol. Starts with a K, isn't it? Here. Yep, South Indians. I've just missed that. Did you see what she said there? No, because I was just focused. Can you watch the screen, baby? Sure. Oh, he's writing already. Hold on. There it is. Kerala. K E R A L A. Are you watching the screen, honey? Mm -hmm. So, my wife is texting our friend from India. Yeah, so he's from Kerala. K E R A L A. Yeah. So, I is that. Sorry, honey. No, no, sorry. So, uh, Vanita, is that, um, how far would that be from where you are at without saying where you're at?
So are you guys. Joe, you should be talking, honey. Look at this beautiful state down south. Is it really far from where you're at, Benita? I knew it was in the southern, in the southern part of India. Yeah. I wouldn't show her where because... He tells us it's really beautiful there. Mm -hmm. I can imagine all India is beautiful. We would love to go. We're hoping that's going to happen sometime real soon. I believe they actually just got back from there. Yeah, they did. They went for like a month or six mm -hmm. weeks. Well, I guess so, you know. If you're leaving Canada and you're going back to India for a visit, like, you seriously have to go for more than two weeks. Around here, when somebody takes a vacation, it's like for two weeks, maybe three weeks, if your employer gives you like three weeks off, right? Mm -hmm. But to go back to India, it's too far away. I live in the northern region and Kerala is far away from here. Imagine. Mm. I can imagine how big. We look at Canada and we think Canada is big, but I can only imagine how much bigger India is compared to Canada. Wow. Okay, bye. Mm. Because when we travel from this side of Canada and we travel and want to, if we want to either visit or relocate over to the very western side of Canada, mm -hmm. people call it awesome. Yeah, for us driving like on the other end of Canada, it would take how long? A week. More than a week. It took us 10 days, didn't it? But we took our time, mm. right? Yeah, it took well, it's like. We went down through 7,200 kilometers or something. Imagine. One way. So like, you know, you can only drive so many hours and then your body starts to get tired, right? But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we drove right across Canada and it took us, yeah, a like week. Like a week or yeah. a little over a week. Yeah. Or it was. Yeah. Worth it. So yeah. We drove like 12 hours a day. Yeah, it was. And then we just got an old L. Yeah. Cause we were so tired like you don't realize you think driving will never like make you tired and stuff like that but it do i can guarantee you like you're just sitting there and you're just <laughs> daryl <laughs> but yeah it was it was tiresome but you know what we wanted to move and have a different change for a little bit and had that experience and that's where we met our friend from India, he's so sweet, him and his wife, they're awesome, awesome couple. Yep. Yeah. And then we lived out there for, what? Two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. a, little, a little over two years, maybe. I think so. Something like that. And then we decided, oh, we're kind of homesick, let's go back east. And then we took that trip and drove all the way back across Canada again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And every now and then, Daryl says, come on, let's go back out west. And I'm like, what? Are you <laughs> kidding me? If we go this time, it's going to be permanent, permanent. Yeah. And then he laughs. He's like, I don't know. But sometimes we miss it out there, though. Yeah, it? it's very tempting to go back out again. Maybe sometime in the future we may. Mm -hmm. Well, we have the kind of lives that we can really pack up and just move wherever we yeah. want to move. Because what we work at, which we don't really want to say right now, but... What we work at, we are capable of living pretty much anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Technically. It's 1 a.m. here. My eyes are popping out. Good night, I guess. Good night, Vanita. Have a good night, Vanita. Sleep tight. It was so nice chatting with you. Yeah. Take care, and we will see you in our videos soon. Yeah. Oh, 1 o'clock, imagine. Wow. Here it is. 4 p.m. and we're getting ready to go to the beach maybe mm. it's getting a bit late but it's still it's nice outside though sunny and warm 20 blue, degrees blue or more. sky not yeah. much wind yeah well i guess we should head her mm -hmm. to i want sure Yeah. We will catch our subscribers back here sometime next week or maybe before. Yeah, we might pop on one night this week or something for a yeah. little bit and just see. Uh, see what our subs are up to. Yeah, we might do that. Pop on one night the week or something. Just chill. Yep. Have a cookie with you guys or something. Make Daryl have to eat a cookie with and dunk some. Dunk it in some milk or something. <laughs> hey.
Yep. Yep, you would. I know you would. So I guess this wraps up another mukbang today with the Robbies. A tea. A tea. Hey, a tea. How's it going? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> He's laughing now because uh -huh. we were just saying we may go. Um, Panita, are you still here? Or are you gone? I think she's gone. I'm not sure. I think she's gone to bed. She's back in India too, Atish. Mm -hmm. um, one of our subscribers. And uh, we were just chit-chatting with her. And uh, anyway, she just said she had to go to bed. Because it's like 1 o'clock. 1 p.m. or she so. 1 a.m. 1 a.m., right? Yep. She's going to bed. She's like, my eyes are so tired. Mm. She just signed out. And then Atish just came in. She's from the northern part of India. Yeah. And yeah. Atish is from the southern. Yeah. Yeah. We just finished eating, Atish. We had barbecue chips. I had to see Daryl. He was eating flat out. And I was too. And we had... Um, we had... Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich on kabata bread. Kabata bread. It was so good. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. So what do you guys have today, Atish? Yeah, what's that on the news? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we miss you guys. It's Sunday, where they're at. Mm-hmm. It sounds, yes, it was so good. Daryl had mustard and he had chicken, red onion, red onion, cucumber. Cucumber. What else did we have? Lemon pepper, mayonnaise. Lemon pepper, mayo. Cheese. Mm hmm. What else? Uh, on kabata bread with uh, rosemary. Oh, in the bread, so good. You ever have that bread? It's so good, so tasty. Mm -hmm. And we had barbecue chips, and we had some white chocolate, and we had some ginger ale, which the body bottle now is empty. Body, the bottle is now empty. Yep, mm -hmm. it was so good. We will be going live, Tish. Um. Like what? Every weekend or every second weekend? Mm -hmm. So if you guys are around. Oh, so it's a very bad connection? Yeah, again. it's still it's still recording though. Okay. Yep. We're like 73 minutes into this live. Mukbang. Mukbang. Mm -hmm. So I think we should soon clue it off. What do you think? Yes. We're getting ready to head out for a bit and enjoy a little bit of the sunny day on a Sunday. For sure. Yeah. What are you guys doing today? Home making a butter chicken, I guess. Are you? I wonder. <laughs> I would love to taste your wife's butter chicken. I bet yes. you it's good. The Indian people know how to make these awesome dishes, eh? Oh, Do you they have ever? No idea. Yeah. Is that what she's making today? Seriously? Butter chicken? Butter chicken with rice. Uh, basmati rice, is it? Ba basmati rice. Or jasmine rice. You like the jasmine rice, don't Jasmine you? rice, yeah. Just got up from bed. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, well, this is a tish, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's all good. Yep. Everybody deserves to be. Yes. We would like to come visit or have you guys come visit here. You guys should come visit us. Yeah, you should. Take your vacation. I wish. You know you could. Take your vacation and come visit the Ralphies. Mm -hmm. Sit in on a mukbang with us. That would be Record. cool. And do like a big butter chicken. Yeah. And we could all eat together. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. That would be awesome. Yep. Squid curry, curry today? Wow. Squid. 
You no would squid, like, yeah, yeah. you would like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. See me, I, I don't know if I'd be able to eat squid. You love squid. How do you know? I, I never tried squid. Did I? I don't know if you did. I don't think I ever tried squid. I tried like, yeah, but I don't think you did. I had squid rings one day, deep fried. We had that. You had that in a mukbang. In and a mukbang, yeah, in Newfoundland. Mm, yeah. But you would not try one, would you? No, because I thought of it. But you said it tastes just like onion ring. Yeah, it's really? the batter is what you taste. It's not the squid. Yeah, well, what There's does no the taste. It's like a chewy, like a texture. Like a... What does that squid taste like, though? It's, it's just whatever chewy. you put on it. Is what tastes. So what you're saying is the squid tastes with like there's no taste on squid. No, there's no absolute. There's no. Our first argument. Are you hey? from Newfoundland? <laughs> <laughs> I am so from Newfoundland, but you know what? I never ever had squid in my life. Wow. I never had clams. I never had lobster. Well, I can't eat lobster and I can't eat crab, but you can eat it. Yeah. yeah. We need to pick it up and do a like a mukbang. Hey Amanda, hey, how Amanda. are you? We just finished eating barbecue chips and we had a chicken sandwich on cabada bread with rosemary in the bread. Mm. And we had some white chocolate. Yes, we did. Which is always good. Yes, well, you don't really like white chocolate. No. You had a little piece. I'm and we more had. Into Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I'm more into the milk chocolate and the real dark chocolate, eh? Oh, how are you feeling? We've been praying for you, Amanda. She's went in and, uh, yep, yeah, had her surgery Friday a couple days ago. So you're still sore, I bet, hey? But you're home and you're recovering, right? That's the main thing. You'll We're be praying back. that you have a speedy recovery. Yes. And you'll be back on the road to... Better health real soon. Oh. Real soon. She will. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Amanda. Man. Plenty of medication. That's good. That helps. Mm -hmm. Amanda, I keep forgetting. There's you and another lady that's a subscriber. And I'm trying to remember, Amanda, are you from UK or is it Australia? I keep getting them mixed up. I'll soon get it right one of these days. UK. UK. So what's the weather like there in the UK now? Is it nice? Yes, a tissue too. Yes, you guys do. Tell your wife we said, hey. The Ralphie said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> really warm. That's good, Amanda. So are you able to get like out on your deck or just get a little bit of fresh air? We hope so. Atish, check back with us um, next weekend and see. We may be going live again next weekend. Mm -hmm. We may go live one night the week, too. I still can't sit at the minute. Wow. So you're laying, I guess, are you? Or, you, know, you can't be just standing all the time, are you? No. Gosh, that would be painful. Most of the time, laying. Wow. You're going to get better real soon, girl. Mm. Stay strong. Stay positive. Yep. Yep. It'll be no time. You'll be up and on the go again. Never hurt your back. I know, eh? Mm. Yep. Sometimes we take our health for granted, you know. Yes, we do. We really do. Mm -hmm. Honest to God, we do. Because when you hear people like this, right, yep. that had a surgery or something, then you really start to click in up here and you go, you know what? God forbid, that could be me too. Mm -hmm. You know? But it's not something that's going to be forever. You're mm -hmm. going to get better and you're going to get back on the mend. No trouble. Yeah. Well, as long as your medication is helping you. Yes. 
and mm-hmm. you will heal in no time. Yes, for sure. We are good. We are great. Yeah, we are good. Thank you so much. Yes. For asking. Yeah. We've been on live now 80 minutes. It doesn't feel like that, though. No, it doesn't. It just feels like, you know, we got on like 10, 15 minutes ago. It's so much fun. And it's so cool. Like, you know, we were just talking to another subscriber. She's from India. And it was 1 a.m. And she's like, I got to go to bed. So we had to say goodnight to her. And it's funny, though, because here it is, like, 4.20 p.m. where we live. Mm-hmm. And we're, like, just cluing in, you know. Somebody's getting ready to go to bed. They got to go to work tomorrow in another part of the world. You guys do so well on here. Well, thank you. Thank you, Amanda. We love going live. Yeah, we love it. We love it. We're actually getting used to it now. Yeah, we love talking to our subscribers. 8.20 p.m. here. Oh. Like it. It is 4.20 p.m. here. It's a four hours difference, yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. You playing with a pen? Yep. It's all good. It's all good. I'm so full now. Me too. But it's a I'm healthy, getting, it was yeah. a healthy full. It was so good. That sandwich. Whatever Daryl puts his hands on to make for food is always so good. Mmm. Isn't it? And you as well. You're like the bestest little chef. You're the bestest. Little cook. Cook and Ooh, chef, like, whatever. I could bite them. Bite the dimples right off them. Daryl guy. Got his shirt hanging out. Oh, yes, I do. Look. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I usually got it buttoned up. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, it took me a minute to clue in there. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yes, because we had, in how many videos ago, we were talking about asking you guys what you thought. If he had a shirt tucked in or tucked out, what did you think? She laughed. <laughs> <laughs> that's too cool. Yes, because, yeah. So, yeah, we caught you. <laughs> you have your shirt out. Yeah, I do. And it looks great. Amanda's right smart, eh? She caught that. She she's is, seen, yeah. She's seen that. Yeah. Um, you like it tucked in better, Amanda? Do you? I like it sometimes I like it out. In too, no, I, I like it sometimes out. Well, she looks better tucked in. Okay. Look, look, Daryl. I'll tuck it in there for Amanda. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're a doll. Good choice. Good choice. She goes, oh, thanks. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) You're a sweetie, aren't you? You're my little precious. Precious. So, Amanda, are you married? Do you have kids? Do you have any pets? Daryl's my pet. You're my pet, too. I love my little pet. <laughs> I have to bite him. <clears throat> Couldn't I? Well, don't bite me. I bite you every day, and you love it. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, yeah. You know what? Sometimes. Well, I'm still here, isn't I? If I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Long-term partner, no children. Cool. Right on. Awesome. Yeah, we've been together some while too. Mm-hmm. Some time. Yep. I've got a dog. What kind of dog you have? We like to get a. Oh, what? two English Springer Spaniels. Yes. We want to get a boy and a girl. We said this in our last uh, live. Such a cute couple. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. <laughs> Um, yeah, we want to get two English Springers. We want to get, like, a boy and a girl, like a brother and a sister, and get them both fixed. She's a terrier. Terriers are little tiny ones, aren't they? I think they are, yeah. Yeah, the terriers are little. It's pretty tiny, isn't it? Yeah, they're little. Something like a Shih Tzu, isn't it? Like house dogs. Like yeah, like a, yeah. I think. That's not the, oh, I'm thinking about the Yorkies, the ones that just like to go, ruff, ruff, ruff. Yeah, the Yorkies is. They're right yappy-like? Yeah. They like like? To bark yeah, they are small terrier. Right on. <clears throat> Check that out after. Yep. Terrier. Yep. Cool. 
Puppy dogs keep you company, hey? Labradoodles. They got the curly hair, hey? Yeah. Um, They're very aw. full of energy, too. They're very... Have you ever seen any pictures, Amanda, of um, English Springer Spaniels? They don't molt. Hmm. English Springers, though, are so cute. Mm. Okay. They got the eyes, like the oh, puppy dog so, eyes, and the big so, old floppy ears. Yes, they're just so, and we both love them. Mm. Yeah. I like, I like the brown and the wheat. I know, me too. No, dude. Yep, we gotta get a brother and a sister. So they get big paws on them, too, eh? Yeah. Well, so. And we gotta get them fixed, because yeah. we don't want no mess and stuff, you yeah, know? Mmm. And, yeah, we'll have a great big house soon, and, you know, we'll let them go out in the backyard and let them have full throttle. A giver. Yep, see? Giver. Let them just. Fly through the ground, through the air, through the, through the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like dogs that slobber. I don't think the English Springer no. slobber. I don't think they slobber. No, no, no. St. Bernard. I really, really like St. Bernard, but I would never get one because they slobber so much. Mm. You, I heard that you can de-slobber them. I don't yeah. know if that would be painful or what for the dog, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. Mm. Really. But the English Springers are so cute. Mm -hmm. English Springer Spaniels. Yeah. Great Danes. Wow. Oh, wow. They're high. That's, They're... Like, that's like a miniature horse, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it really like yeah. a miniature horse? That's what it is, yeah. Yeah. They're oh. really high. Wow. Can you imagine? Under legs. You'd have to have some open space in your home. For, for, for to have them, like, to be in your home. Mm. I guess you would have. Did you have them in your home, Amanda? Wow. That's a big dog. Oh. The tail on that would hit all the cupboards right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Mm. That's all you need, one of them saddles. Shove on the dog to go to work. Yeah. <laughs> no. I've always wanted a pet, but my parents won't let me get one. Oh, you'll get one soon. When they sit on you, you're not getting up. Yes, they live with me. Oh, oh. wow. What can you imagine? Uh, wow. Great Dane in the house. Man, they're high. Yep. Like, their head would totally be above this table right now. Yes, they're off above the table. They'd be looking you in the eye right here. Mm. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. What can <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we thought about, like, little tiny puppy dogs, but then some of them are really, really yappy. And then the English Springer, I don't know, was something about the shape and size of them. They're mm. so cute. They're not too big. They're not too small. To me, they're very, I don't know, they're very cute. They're energetic, too. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And that would force... Sorry. No, sorry. Go ahead. And sometimes they're, I don't know, just jump up with you on the couch and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly. Or down by your feet or yeah. something. Yeah. They'd be on the feet in our bed. Like, on the outside covers mm -hmm. of our bed. Um, what was I going to say? And in the morning, it licked the dean's face. Oh, my God. <laughs> you <Yeah>. love that. <laughs> yeah. But no, I was going to say, with the English Springers, where that where they have high energy, they would force us to be outside doing so much more than what we are really doing. Mm. So I would be like, right tiny, you know. You're perfect the way you are. Oh. In my opinion. But that English Springer would make me smaller. I guess. Yeah. If that's what you want. Yeah, so that's the dream and plan one day is we'll have some two English Springers, a boy and a girl, and hopefully you guys will get to see them on the camera. Oh, They're waiting somewhere out there now for us. Uh -huh. No, they're not conceived yet. <laughs> uh, hmm. We're not really sure yet. I'm thinking like maybe a year from now. Yeah, maybe. Something like that, you know? Maybe less. Yeah, hopefully sooner. Hopefully sooner. We think we're moving soon. Not really sure. We'll fill you guys in on some stuff about that with us when information and things happen for us, is the best we'll say. Mm -hmm. Right now. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. If you only knew. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yep. Yep. 
So, oh, Melanie didn't jump on today. She must be busy. Mm. I knew I was missing Melanie here, too. Yeah. Can She's I... from Fredericton. Wow. New Brunswick. Is Melanie? Fred... Is it Fredericton? I think so. Yeah. I would have just said the Brunswick. Mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly. Was it Patrick and she I think I'm pretty sure that's what she said last time. Right? That's fine. Mm -hmm. She might pop on in a minute. You never know. Nope. Atisha, are you still here or are you gone? Atisha's enjoying his... What did you say? He was on there? Squid. Oh, yeah. He's having squid... Hey, Montreal girl, how are you? How's it going? Hope all is well where you are. Mm hmm. Right. Love guys. Take care, lots of love from the UK. Have a good night, Amanda. Take care. I'm still eating these chips. Yes, you give her my love. Yeah, no, I'm good. Why? I am so full now. Can I have a napkin? Sure. We are from Newfoundland in Canada. Have you ever been to Newfoundland, the Montreal girl? That's a please, baby. Thank you. Pop? Yeah, please. But we're not living in Newfoundland right now. No. But that's where we're both from. We're in the land of the potatoes. Terrell. <laughs> yeah, we are newbies from Newfoundland. People say, Where are you from? The Rock. Gas Bay. Um, but I live in Montreal. Right on. How do you find Montreal? That's huge, eh? Isn't that where Just for Laughs is at in Montreal, I think? Is it? Is it, Daryl? I know. What? That's for what? It's filmed? Oh, okay. Um, that show was so funny, man. Just for laughs. Yeah, I would say that's funny. Have you ever got, um, have you ever been, uh, on the show? I wonder. The Montreal girl? I would just die if something happened. We were walking down the street and we were in the middle. Which show? Um, the Just for Laugh show. Um, I would die if we walked down the street and they caught us in the, like one of their little pranks or whatever. <laughs> um, no. I love that show, ma'am. That's a good show, yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. Mm. So funny. They're always up to something, trying to get people to laugh. And that's what, that's what life that's a is. Good, that's a good medicine. It is, it's a good thing, you know. Thank you, honey. Sorry for reaching over you. And more ginger ale. Yes, fine. Like a candy? Mm-mm. Have some. <laughs> have a I'm chip. Have a chip, my honey. You're not poor, are you? Nah. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm full too, but I'm having chips. You have some. Come on. Good choice, see, Daryl. Good choice. Tell them it's a good choice, huh? Good choice. Sweet nectar. Sweet nectar. That's right. Yes, bye. Good 
good choice. Do you guys want kids in the future? We said earlier in this video that we would answer that question later, right? Mm. Like in another um, video, another live, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. keep you guys in suspense about some things a couple things mm -hmm. not everything hey baby mm -hmm. are you serious wow i did not know that mm. i did not even know you were pregnant oh my god oh wow that's awesome. ready to cry that's so exciting oh wow so you're due 32 weeks, 40 weeks, 6 more weeks, when 6 more weeks? What's this? June, July, middle of August? Are you going to have the baby middle of August, I wonder? Look at that, August 19th. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I bet it'll be the August 15th. I bet you. So, is this your first baby? Or is this your second baby? Or maybe third? I don't know. You know? I don't no. I don't know. Haha. <laughs> wow. I bet it's your first baby. I guess. I'm wondering. They're both 21. They're together seven years. Wow. And this is her first baby. Awesome. I was going to comment something so quick. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's so cool. I'm so happy for you guys. Are you guys happy? Was this like a planned pregnancy or was this something that was like, surprise? You know, <laughs> it just happened. I wonder. It was very planned. Wow. So happy for you guys. So if awesome. you guys are happy, we're happy for you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I did not even know she was pregnant. Me either. Man. Look at it. That's awesome. Mm hmm So happy for you. And the baby will be born like August. Like in the summer. That's awesome. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. hmm. Hey Emma. Mm -hmm. Hey Emma, how are you? I have my mouth full of food. Oh. A L Y S. How do you pronounce that? Al Alice. Alice. Hmm. Is it pronounced as Alice? Or a Ailey's. Wow, that's a pretty name. Mm-hmm. Cool. They're having a girl. They even know what they're having. Wow. Like Alice. Nice. Oh, cool. Very nice name. Nice. You must be so excited. You must have the bedroom all ready and mm. everything is pink, I betcha. Or is it purple? Pink or purple? I think purple. It might be green. No, nope, purple. You think it's purple? I think it's pink and purple. Everything is almost ready. She's excited. Cool. That's so awesome. So happy for you. And your partner. Happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Turquoise and white. It's white and gray. Nice. Mm. That sounds so beautiful. That baby is going to be so loved. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. So, so happy for you guys. Happy, happy. They grow up really fast, so enjoy. 
Enjoy the times when the baby is so small. Don't take any moments for granted. Mm -mm. Trust me, trust me. Or trust us. Uh huh. To me, it's just common sense, right? Uh huh. You know what I mean? The baby's gonna grow up fast, and you know, if you don't put all the love and attention into it as a child and an infant and watch it grow up, you're gonna regret it when you get older. The theme is fairy and butterfly, and yeah, we will cherish every single minute of it. Of course, mm, you will. I know for you sure. will. That's so cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Oh. Full and still eating. Bad. Bad choice. Bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Very nice to hear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so we were just letting the uh, Montreal girl know. So we just finished a oh surprised that we don't have 10k subscribers already mm. we're getting close to 2,000 subscribers and we are like beyond excited because just to think about like 2,000 people are interested in watch us eat and are entertained I guess or just want to spend some of their time with the Ralphies it's like I could cry. I am so excited. We just love our subscribers so much. Mm -hmm. And it will be nice one day when we hit 10,000. That would be like, oh my God, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. 2,000 for us is even amazing. Mm -hmm. It's more. We thought, you know, in the beginning, eh, we're just doing this for fun. And we really are still just doing this for fun. Yeah. But when we, we, when we did reach 1,000 back in Newfoundland, we did our love story. We thought that that was like over the top, you know, we were yeah. so excited about a thousand subscribers and here we are now at like 2000, we're getting close to 2000 subscribers. It's just like, you can't even put into words how you feel like, mm. how do you explain it? I don't know how to explain it. Like I said, words I, can't even just, explain. just to know that people want to watch with us. Yeah, I'm doing ASMR on my phones too and I'm. For me, it was mind blowing. It is. It's mind blowing when you realize that people like want to invest their time and watch you. Mm -hmm. It's just like it's just amazing. It was amazing. Like I never ever dreamt we'd be where we're at. But really, some time way back, I felt like we would be where we're at. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. Hello. Um. Now, how do you say this? S u w a g g y. Sa sa. Sawagi. Sawagi. That's so much people when you think about it. It is. It is. Like mm. a thousand people for us was like, oh my God, that's like a little town we grew up in. Like a thousand people. You got all these people in like this little town that say, you know, all those thousand subscribers. It's mm. a lot of people that are sitting down watching us, you know. You try to put all them in one room. Yeah, it's a lot like, of people. That's a lot of people. Right? And here we are now getting close to 2,000. It's like, I don't know. I can't imagine how these mukbangers and other, excuse me, yes, 2000, that's amazing. I can't imagine how these other mukbangers feel that have like millions of subscribers. Like you must go to bed at night in tears with thankfulness because mm -hmm. people, you know what I mean, want to spend their time with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. They do, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just mind blowing. They're so blessed. Yep, they are blessed, but we're blessed with our 2,000. Mm. We appreciate our almost 2,000 subscribers more or the same as somebody with a million. Yeah. We are just as appreciative, honest to God. Mm. It's so amazing. Mm hmm. Yep. It's awesome. Mm hmm.
Yeah. You know what it's like when you know you're full and you should stop eating and you still eat. And it's in front of us. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, should we stop now? Mm -hmm. That pop for me is good though. My too. Thank you. You're welcome. What flavor are those? These are barbecue. Mm hmm. So good. Can you see? Bring it in closer. Yeah, but too to close. To the left, to the left. Too close. Can you see those? My God, that doll was full. Oh, I Holy know. mother Toledo. <laughs> oh, we devoured it. And we got some white chocolate. Had some white chocolate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably still got some left. Mm hmm. Oh, she's in England. Mm. Wow. We call them crisps in England. Mm. I used to overeat, and I cuss. I can't cuss the baby because it's her stomach. Um. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, sawa, sawagi. Is this sawagi? Sawagi. Sawagi. Or sawagi. Like Thank you. Um. Yes, the Montreal girl. Yes. Um. I guess you have to watch what you're eating when you're pregnant. You know. Mm -hmm. Even though that baby wants lots of food, taking all the vitamins and nutrients and everything from you, that's why you have to eat a little more, hey? I was almost going to do like a... <laughs> oh. hey. How you doing? Yeah. No. How are you? How you doing? No, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Who says that, you guys? Do you know? How you doing? No, how you doing? Yeah. Joey! Hey! <laughs> exactly. I love Joey. <laughs> Who do you like on Friends? Joey. You don't like Chandler? Well, Chandler. I like Chandler. He's so freaking like like sarcastic he's just like emma loves friends too mm -hmm. i love rachel i know me too mm. we have the box set here and we just keep watching it sometimes over and over and when you get up to that very last show you're like oh you almost feel like you're there with them much better and i know i'm gonna lose weight fast did she say the very last word fast healthier i thought it was I don't know, I couldn't catch it. I'm reading fast, and I'm, mm. it's still going, like, off the screen fast. Hmm. So you lost weight before you got pregnant. Hmm. Mm -hmm. For health reasons. But, yeah, you're going to lose the weight fast when the baby comes out. You will. If you're determined, you will lose that weight, no trouble. You will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so cool catching up with you guys, chatting with you guys. I love chilling. this. Yeah, chilling. And chilling with the brothies. Yeah. It's so cool. So if anybody asks what you were up to today, say so you're just chilling with the brothies. There you go. <laughs> chilling with the brothies. On YouTube. Yep. Yes, I would say. Wow. When you do lose weight, it feels really, really good. Mm -hmm. Daryl and I went to the gym when we lived up north in Canada, mm -hmm. and oh my god, we felt so good. Like, every time you left the gym, you felt like you lost so much weight. You felt like you were lighter like than a feather. You were walking on a cloud. Yeah, like you just felt so good, mm -hmm. and right now, we're not back at the gym yet, but we're soon going to be. Mm -hmm. We soon have to get back to the gym. I won't walk out in town in public because I don't... I love dogs. We want to get dogs. We both love English Springer Spaniel dogs. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get a boy and a girl from the same litter sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I won't go out and walk in where we, li where we live because I really don't trust dogs, if that makes sense, even though I want to get dogs. So I won't go out and walk in public. If I'm going to work out and bust a move... It's going to be number one with my hubby doing some fun exercises. Uh, I got to be at the gym. 
I gotta be on a treadmill, brick in a big sweat. Mm. Like I gotta, I gotta be brick in a sweat at the gym for me. I can't walk in town in public. I'm too, I don't know what dogs, I'm too nervous or something. Mm. Yeah. I feel like it's a chore. It is a chore. But when you're done, it feels so good. When you're I done. like playing squash, eh? Squash is fun. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Squash is fun. I like to get on the treadmill and then I go to the squash court and then I go to the actual gym gym. Yeah. Cardio. Cardio. Yeah. I am so full right and now. I know, me too. So good though. You want any morning? No. Oh. It's like a drug it is. Favorite food. For me, it's pasta. What's your favorite food? I like meat and potatoes. That's what you do like. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you feel like yuppie when you don't go to the gym. That's still how I feel. If I was going to the gym and coming home, I'd be like, yeah, look at me. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Those pipes. Yeah, those pipes. Look. <laughs> <laughs> They're not too much today. Pasta. I know I love pasta. Lasagna. Melissa, you're back again. Oh, you were gone for a little bit. Hey, Melissa. She's back. Mm hmm. Yeah. Even if Daryl went for a walk with me in town, I still wouldn't feel 100%, but I, you know that. Mm hmm. Like, I know Daryl would protect me and everything, but I still feel like. If I've seen a dog coming, I love my husband with all my hair, but I would totally put him in front of me and be like, okay, they're all here. You deal with the dog because I can't deal with the dog. Wouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. You probably would. Because I know that you could protect us. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why. Good choice. Real good choice. Or is it a good choice? <laughs> it would be. Yeah. Uh, big yeah. sweet nectar. Yeah. My husband, he's the bestest. You're the bestest. No, you are the bestest. Abs our subscribers is the best. They are the bestest. You guys are the bestest. Look at Emma. Oh, take a nap. I'll talk with you later. Can't wait for a new video. Car ones. We love the car mukbangs too. Have a good nap, Montreal girl. We'll mm -hmm. catch up with you soon. Thank you, Emma. Me and my hubby. Are you guys like this too? Mm-hmm. We're like this on camera, off camera. If you had to see us out in town, I would probably be picking at Daryl or something. Or he'd be picking at me. Or... Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're close. We're tight. No matter where we are, if we're in the kitchen, if we're driving, uh, <laughs> brushing our teeth together, when we sleep together. We have to be touching somewhere like on the arm or mm. his feet got to be wrapped around my feet. Everyone, everyone on here are married. You're not married, E-T-A-B. E How do I say that? Etab Naji. You're not married, Etab Naji. No? You must be dating somebody or... Melissa, you're not married. There you go. You're not mm. married. Oh, he's... Okay. Etab Naji. 17 years old. I remember when I was 17, I was working. Yep. Yep. Did you have your license back then? Yes, I got my or license. Or your permit? 17? No, uh, permit, I think, was 16. Oh, was it? As soon as I could get my license, I, bet, I was yeah. having them. I was having them right away. I wanted my driver's license. And I learned not a standard. I could drive a standard. Melissa's 15. Oh, cool. wow. Cool. Awesome. So, Melissa, where is it you're living? I'm wondering, like, are you driving? Do you have a, like, no, you shouldn't be driving at 15 yet. What's she? No. No. But Six, depends, 16 it's, is the young driver, I think. Yeah, but that's here in Canada. Madison! Hey! She's 21, Madison. Madison is from Australia, right, Madison? Gosh, i got to get used to all where all our subscribers mm. live and, oh, Emma's 27. How old are we? Did we tell our subscribers yet how old we are? Suwagi's back. Oh, she's back. Did we tell our subscribers how old we are or how young we are? 
Or did we? I can't remember now. I can't remember either. They're going to con us into telling them our age, aren't they? Mm -hmm. How old are you? Don't. 21 and holding. <laughs> you, how old are you? <laughs> you're supposed to say 21 and holding in Denmark. We can get our license when you're 17. Although we're in the middle of Denmark, haha, basically. Mm. Cool. So awesome. you're what? She's 15 now, so you only have two years. That's not too bad. Mm -hmm. You'll soon have your license if you want to get them. Mm -hmm. It's fun having your license. Nah, you didn't. Probably 24. I'm 24? Is that what you're saying? I'm 24? Hmm. Now that is a compliment. Listen here, you! <laughs> oh, you're near medieval! <laughs> and I'm the young one here. I'm 11. Wow. Oh, he's. Oh, he tap Najee thinks I'm 24. Do you seriously think I'm 24? Oh my god. Yep, I am so getting a license. Then I can drive to restaurants all the time and buy pasta. Haha, <laughs> awesome. I agree with Emma 110%. Yes, age, age is, is only, only a number. A number. But my God, if I look 24, that's not too bad, I don't think. Wow, th they think I'm 24. So, how old do you think I am? There you go, answer this one. What's my age, guys? Ladies and gentlemen. Say it, ladies, ladies. Ladies, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too cute, Daryl. Ladies, ladies. Yeah, how old is my husband, you guys? What do you think? Come on. Push it the numbers. What do you think? 25 or 26? 20? Late 30s. Hey now, Emma. <laughs> I would guess Nadine is 30 and Daryl's 33. Oh my God. We wow. have <laughs> like the best subscribers ever, you guys. Yeah. We have the best subscribers Mm. Look, he's laughing. <laughs> oh. uh. When are we? When should we let him like how old we are? When are we gonna let that information leak? We should tell him now. No, no, you have to keep these people in suspense, honey. No, just tell. See, him. she's laughing. Look, Nadine is twenty-four and Daryl is twenty-five. My God, you guys are so sweet. I'm telling <laughs> you. No, we're not telling them yet, honey. I'll have to get duct tape and put over your mouth. We can't tell them. Nadine is... <laughs> <laughs> no. We have to keep them in suspense for a little bit. I think we're going to make them wait till we hit 10,000 subscribers. What do you think? Mm, Come know. on now, Daryl. You have to play. You're on my team. Yeah. Well, hello. We can't let them know yet. <laughs> <laughs> let me think. Daryl, no. As long, yeah, as, sure. as long as we don't get any more wrinkles. Leave them in suspense. Yeah, we had to leave them in suspense. Hmm. Yep. We're going to have to let you guys wait for a little bit and think about that. Mm -mm. But really good guesses, you guys. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Madison. Keep it a secret. Keep it a secret for okay. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Like Emma said, age is just a number. It is just a number. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is not the time to let them know that way. No. You know how you just feel it right deep down inside? You feel like, you know, this is the time to tell people something. Mm. This is just not the time to tell you guys yet. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, well, still such a beautiful day outside. Blue sky. Two minutes to five now. Mm. Look, is this an hour and twenty minutes? That's two hours now. Man, yeah. sixty minutes an hour. Yeah. So we got ten seconds, and it'll be two hours. It's 9 p.m. here, so it's wow. wow, five hours difference. No, four hours difference. 4.02 a.m. here. Oh, I can't wow. sleep. Madison, you're not sleeping. 
Aren't you guys going out? Like outside? Yes. Uh huh. We are going out. Real soon. It's just hard to leave you guys, you know. Yeah. We love talking to our subscribers. Yeah. It's awesome talking to you guys. Wow, oh, it's two. 102. AM. Or PM. I bet you it's AM. Wow, that is late as I am. Yeah. Some nights though, it's hard to sleep, hey? Yeah. And then when you can't, oh, PM, PM is not all bad. Kind. That's not bad. But when it's like through the night and you can't sleep. Oh, yes. Yeah, San, San Francisco, Francisco. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yep, afternoon. It's bad night time though when you can't sleep. Emma said, I hope to catch you guys live again. Look before. forward to your videos. Thank you. Perfect. So glad you guys are enjoying our videos. And in any of our videos, you know, um, if you want us, if you want to see us do something specific, drop us a line, drop us a comment on our mukbangs, and we do take your comments, and we have a list going on, and we do add them to the list, and then some evening or you know some day we'll look at each other and be like, where's that list? We have to pick something randomly down through the list, so we'll just pick something, and then when we do, we're like, hmm, now we have to. Uh, Show our subscribers what we did. English chocolates and sweets. Look at that. Should break that one now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, English chocolates and sweets. <clears throat> See, that would be different, hey? Mm. Yes, but. We got a list already from today, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's not awesome. Too much sugar. I know. Whew. Well, it's over. Hey guys, going live again. We're going live again next weekend. Maybe one night this week, Melissa. English things like crumpets and. Mar 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 marmite, marmite, mm. marmite. I think I've seen Dubai Munchies put that on toast. Marmite, marmite. What would marmite taste like? Is that like more of a savory or is it like more of a sweet? I think it's more savory. I think that's something maybe you would like. Mm. Yeah, I think. Marmite. Hm. I love tea. I drink like every kind of tea. I love tea. It's like yeast based. Being savory, very oh, savory. Oh, very savory. I said I love you that. You like that. Why is mm. it I'm not into savory and you're not into sweets too much? I'm you know. A tiny bit of butter first. Yes, okay. Spy? Cool. Hmm. I love tea. Yes, I love tea. My favorite tea right now, um, Sue Ivy. My favorite tea is, uh, what's it called? My favorite tea. Our favorite tea. Our favorite tea. Because we both love it. Egyptian. Licorice tea. Have you ever tried that one, Swaggy? Egyptian licorice tea. Oh my. If you guys haven't tried it, you guys have to try it and tell us what like, you think. Of yeah, it. you have to try it. It's absolutely delicious. It's so good. So good. I may have to get one after this video. We're not going out. Will you take a tea with us? Yeah, I was going to say take one to go with us in the car. With a Ralph, mm. the Ralphie's cups. There you go. <laughs> We're thinking sometime in the future we may have to get some shirts or hoodies or, you know, um, some kind of a piece of clothing and, you know, put the Ralphie's on the front. Think of something for the back maybe. Sweet nectarines on top because you guys are our sweet nectarines. And maybe good choice written right on the bottom, you know. Quote, good choice, right? Um, we may do that with some clothing later on. Mm -hmm. So, if you think that's something you would possibly be interested in buying sometime. Purchasing. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have to see how many people would be interested or not interested. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it would be a good choice, though. Yep. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, there would be somebody in San Francisco wearing the Ralphie shirt or sweater. 
<laughs> with good choice written on the back. Good choice. See? A sweet nectar. Yep, sweet nectarines. Mm. Yep. Yep. That would be a good choice. Yep. yep. Yes, Spy. <laughs> awesome. Yep. So we should get going, I guess. Yeah. Before it gets too late it's, and we won't be able to go to the beach. It's been over two hours again. We're live. But it's so much fun. We mm. enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah, we'll head out for now. And thank you guys so much for stopping by with the Ralphies. Mm -hmm. We really enjoyed our time with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed your time with us. And maybe one night of the week we may go live. If not... I know, it doesn't feel like it's been a long time. Mm. Um, well, 126 minutes right now. Imagine. And 12 seconds. It's over two hours. Yeah, over two hours. Um, so yeah, if we don't go live one night this week, we will probably, more than likely, go live next weekend. Mm. Not sure if it'll be Friday night, Saturday, or Sunday. Right? Mm -hmm. We'll have to see what happens. And if we eat something real special one night of the week, we may pop on with you guys and share it with you guys. So you could take the first bite. Right, honey? Mm-hmm. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Good choice. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this live mukbang today with the Ruffies. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you, you know, know what, what to do. do. Stay tuned with the Ralphies. Yep. Bye, Sawagi. Have a good Bye. night or day for you two. Mm -mm. Yeah. So until next time, you guys, take care. Peace Peace. out. Oh, Gwyneth, no, Gwyneth. don't go. She just come on. <laughs> oh. We were just saying, we've been on here 126 minutes. Oh, <laughs> we got to chit chat with Gwyneth for a minute. Sure. Oh, <laughs> how you doing, girl? How's everything? What are you up to today? Yeah. What's it like where you are today? Gwyneth, isn't Gwyneth in, Gwyneth's in Canada, right? I think. Are you in Canada, Gwyneth? I'll be here next time. Oh, I don't want to go and leave her now. <laughs> She's in Ottawa. Yeah. Well, it's raining. We had rain here yesterday, and it was so. It was just. I can't say depressing. I don't like that word really too much for us. But like, it was like. It's kind of like a dreary day, you know what I'm saying? And we were just like, one minute, you know, we'd lay down. The next minute, we were up cooking dinner. Mm. Had, had the oven going all day yesterday. And, but yeah. the rain was like, you know, mm. just blah. Yeah. We don't enjoy the rain. But you need, we need the rain, well, we you know? we need it. The farmers need it. Yes. For their crops to grow. It's raining where you are, Swaggy. Wow. Well, we're glad you're here with the Ruffies. Mm hmm. I saw one of the words I missed you. Dreary here, too, yeah. Wonder Woman. That's a new movie out. Was it? Is it? I have no idea. We don't have cable. We wish not to have cable because, really, with the internet, you can find anything and everything on the internet, right? Mm hmm. Um, and movies, we don't really go out to movies. So, this is a new movie out, is it, Gwyneth? Yeah. Yeah, hmm. cool. Cool. May have to check that out. Yeah. We don't go to movies all the time, but you know, if something comes out and it catches our eye, we're like, oh yeah, we gotta go check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it good? I wonder. Excuse me. I was gonna ask you too, Gwyneth. Um because, I don't know, I just we just love when you comment. 
see you guys soon. Good night, Emma, or um, we'll catch you next time. Emma, thank you for dropping in. Thank you so much. Um, Gwyneth, um, I was going to ask you, like, some time ago, um, when you comment on our videos, we just love when you comment, right? Um, I wonder, would you ever, ever think about doing mukbangs, Gwyneth? I think it would be so interesting watching you eat some food. That would be interesting. Mm. Father's Day, exciting movie, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Right on. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Gwyneth do a mukbangs. Yeah. That would be cool. She would do amazing with it. Yeah. Even ASMR. Yeah. Try an ASMR verse. Yeah. And then your, after very, that, your very first ASMR wasn't even like from here down. Yes, Gwyneth, try. Yeah, give it a try. Yes, Gwyneth, yes. We would subscribe first thing, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my God, yes. Oh, awesome. So you're not very shy, hey, Gwyneth. I get a feeling you're not too shy. You're more outgoing like me and Daryl. Daryl and I, me and Daryl, listen to me. Yes, Itab Naji. Thank you so much for stopping in, and we'll catch you next time also. Have a great day, evening. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Gwyneth, oh my gosh, I would love to see you do like an ASMR or mukbang, regular mukbang. I think you would be amazing. I don't know why I get that feeling, but I really, really do mm -hmm. feel like you would be an amazing ASMR artists or you would be an amazing mukbanger. I just really get that feeling. Mm hmm Me too. Yep. Yep. That'd be cool. And we will be your first subscriber. There you go. Yep. The Ralphies. Yep. We were first to leave a comment. Yes. Thumbs up. Gwyneth. So Gwyneth, how old are you? Or how young are you? She's Canadian. Well, she's in Canada, too. Ottawa. Yeah. Michael, you're going to be quiet to you. Okay, I don't want to keep you. Oh, you're not keeping us. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Mm. We can always do something else another day. I can't wait to see your next live. Um, she's 35. Cool. Awesome. Um... We're either going to go live one night this week, we're telling everybody, or if we don't go live one night the week, we're going to go live next weekend. Not sure if it's going to be Friday evening or Saturday or Sunday. We were going to go live yesterday, but it was raining. It was like, huh. today is sunny. So we were like, yes, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have one more of these. You want one? No, my love, I'm full. Thank you. I'm gonna make room for one more of these caramels. There you go. Yes, stay tuned, Gwyneth. <laughs> and think about those mukbangs. It would be so cool to see you do one. Oh, I'm so full, honey. Me too. We are, we, it's funny because we're kind of hesitant right now. And the reason, Gwyneth, is about, would you say 10, 15 minutes ago? Mm -hmm. Around 10, 15 minutes ago, we had this big discussion. Everybody on here was like guessing our age. And some people were close and some were maybe closer and some maybe wasn't so close. And so anyway, we thought we're going to keep everybody in suspense till like maybe we hit 10,000 subscribers. I pray to God that don't take a long time because <laughs> <laughs> that'll be a long suspense period. Mm. But uh, I think we're going to keep you guys in suspense. Somebody said, what was the guesses on our age? What was the guesses on our age? Somebody said 24, 24, 25, 30, 
30 or 32 or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, suspense is good. <laughs> For a little while, eh? Yep. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gwyneth. We love doing videos together. Yes, we do. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, we do. He is out there somewhere. Trust, trust us. Mm hmm. Because Daryl went a long time being single. Yep. A long time. I went three years being single and I'm telling you it was the hardest three years of my entire life because I just didn't want to die alone and I don't know man then one day I just went to this spot and here was Daryl standing there as soon as I seen him I was like oh this is my husband I just knew right there I just knew and I didn't even know him I didn't have a clue right Daryl my family knew his family but it was just did you see our love story Gwyneth thousand subscribers our love story we done jig dinner newfie yes. jig dinner which <laughs> shows thank you um if you've seen our thousand subscribers our jig dinner video back in Newfoundland you've seen the, our love story right so if you've seen that you know how we got connected yep and it's like it's one of them stories, in my opinion, where mm. you, you would never, ever dream you'd meet somebody that way. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think. When you least expect it. <clears throat> yeah. Expect it. Exactly. Because I was searching so much in three years, and at the end of it, I was like, oh, I'm done. Mm. Yeah. I was like, so she's seen our story. Okay. Yeah, because when I was, at the end of three years, I said, that's enough. I'm done looking. I was so tired. Dating and dating and ah. Uh, just every time you go on a different date, you're like, you just know, you know what I mean? Okay, thank you for the nice night. Gotta go. You know what I mean? Because you just knew in your head, like, no, thanks. No. Um, lots of nice. There's lots of nice people out there. Don't get me wrong. But you just know in your heart when one is the right one for you. You just you just get that feeling like your heart don't stop. You're like, you got to be by that person's side. And you just want to be with them until the day you croak, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yep, me too. Folk for me means, you know, pass away, right? So, when you least expect it, girl. <laughs> you don't know where or when that's going to be. You know? I mean, I came out of a really, really, really horrible relationship for a long time, years ago. And yeah, I was single for three years, and then bam, there was Daryl. And I did not dream I would ever meet Daryl the way I met Daryl. <laughs> like never ever thought possible. No, no, I never thought I would ever. What a. I thought I was gonna be single, but I'm not true. It's hard to find the one for me. Um. Diana, hey, how are you? Hello. Um. What was I gonna say to Gwyneth? You will trip over him. So Waggy, how did we got how did we meet? Um so Waggy, if you check out our video, it's the 1000 subscribers video and our love story. So if you just type that in in the search bar, the Ralphies our love story and 1000 subscribers, you'll see that video and we're eating jigs dinner in our car in Newfoundland. And if you watch that video, you will learn exactly how we met. Mm-hmm. Yep. Gwyneth always, there's always hope. No trouble. There's always hope. Because you know what? If if it worked for me, it can definitely work for you and anybody else looking. 
No problem, Swaggy. Hope you enjoyed that video, too. Mm hmm It's an older video, so I hope it's good. Mm -hmm. We it done is. it in the car. It's good, yeah. It was a car mukbang. Mm -hmm. And we done the Noopy Jigs dinner. Mm -hmm. In the car. In the car, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love our car mukbangs, you? Yeah, me too. I love doing them. Yeah. I never thought we'd be doing this, like, say, five years ago. Did you? Mm. No, I me either. I didn't think we'd be at this. This is cool. We started YouTube about, what, three years ago? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. The first year was vlogging, and then after that, Daryl found um, an eating video, and I was in bed one night, and Daryl was like, Nadine, look at this video. And I was like, okay, we're watching somebody eat something, okay. Yeah. Daryl was like, get the camera out, I'm going to do this. And I said, you're going to do what? Eat something in front of the camera, like serious hardcore eating something. Yeah, I want to try it. This guy is doing good. Why, we could try this too, Nadine. Love watermelon. Mm. We both love watermelon. Did you guys eat? Yes, yes, we did, Diana. We did. We had... Um, chicken sandwiches. Thank you, honey. Every time I went to say it tonight, <laughs> today, we had chicken sandwiches, um, kabata bread, rosemary, kabata bread. It was so good. Daryl made it. We had thick red onion, cheese. Daryl had cucumber. mustard. We had cucumber. Red onion. You say said red onion. Uh, mayo. Mayo, lemon pepper. It was so good. Mm, and chicken. And obviously. we had barbecue chips and we had some white chocolate and we had some ginger ale. So sorry you missed it, girl. But um, when we go live again, hopefully you'll be right here when we jump live next time. It's going to either be one night this week. We may pop on if we're going to do something special one night the week. Um, or we will catch you guys in the next live. Yes, it was so good. Thank mm, you. It was so thank good. You. But uh, if we're not on one night this week, we will see you guys next weekend. Look, I'm going to do more. Rise Wine and Dime we're going to do soon. We are planning on moving. Yes, love watermelon. Um, yeah, we're planning on moving this, uh, this, 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 this kitchen and stuff right now is not really what I want to use for Rise Wine and Dime. Um, but when we move, hopefully, everything's going to be much better and... We'll mm. be able to continue Rise, Wine, and Dine. The concept, concept, yes, of mukbangs was really, really mm. odd at the beginning for us. But we're like, you know what? If, the, if everybody else is doing this, man, why can't we? We could do this, too. For sure. See, Gwyneth, now this is your chance, too. You get to start mukbangs, too. I think Gwyneth would be awesome. Mm. I know she I would. I just got that feeling, man. I know she would be I think you should give it a, I think you should give it a go, Gwyneth. At least put it one video. Even if you're too shy to do a full a full face mukbang, why don't you just try ASMR? But if you're bold like us, jump on and do a full face mukbang. And just be you. Just relax. Yeah, just... Just be you, and everybody's going to love you for being you, right? So, I would like to see a full face mukbang. Mm, that would be, be, be cool. That would be awesome. Oh, and there's this channel, too, um, you guys. It's called V-I-L-M-A. I'm not sure if her name is Vil Vilma. Vilma. Yeah. Vilma. I'm not sure if she's still on here right now with us. Yes, that's right. We need open space. So we came across this channel yesterday. She watched one of our videos and she asked us to check out her channel. We checked it out. Loved her content. She has one mukbang out right now. I think it's one. She may have another one out since yesterday. Not sure. But anyway, she is from Finland. She is in Northern Europe. She's between Sweden and Russia. And her very first video she put out yesterday was awesome. We both loved it. Mm. And we are encouraging our subscribers, if you wish to, to go check her out. Check her out. So her channel name is V-I-L-M-B. That's her channel name. And her name is Vilma. Changed him. You're not gonna you're gonna change the title of your channel? No. Ralphie's fan. <laughs> <laughs> She's too funny. <laughs> oh Gwyneth. She would be hilarious, I think. Oh I know she would. What? 
I just get a feeling she got like mm. that funny personality, mm. you know? Yeah. Be cool to meet you guys all, you know, one mm. day. That'd be amazing. Be so cool. Maybe Maybe. it's gonna happen one day. Mm, it you will. Never know. You never know. Mm. Oh, the thunder roars. Hmm. <laughs> 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 mm. Yes, spy. We had caramels too. Look, shocking. Caramel? No, I think so. You're full now, are you? Oh back? my goodness. Did ya? You have no idea. I'm full too, my son. I'm just still putting it in. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, mate. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Developies. Developies saying. Gwyneth. Gwyneth's mukbang. Gwyneth. Don't let me think. Gwyneth. What would you call her channel if she was going to do mukbang? Hmm. Gwyneth's mukbangs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun to see. I thought about that like months ago. But as soon as I seen your um picture. The boys are not sleeping. Back to watch you guys. Yay! They won't go to sleep, hey? How old are the boys? Are they twins? Can you imagine having twins? You'd be so busy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, man. I'd be so busy. Forgot to put our wedding rings on. Mm -hmm. See, we're all in the house relaxed. Mm -hmm. Now, but if we go out in like... The public. And like half hour or something if we're gone first thing we'll do is grab our rings before we go mm. won't we? always yeah always wouldn't dare go outside without our wedding rings i gotta kick this sugar habit what mm -hmm. me need, too i need to reach for a cucumber every time i want sugar <laughs> <laughs> break out the salt I don't like pepper and cucumber though. And you like pepper and you don't like salt. Mm. So I'm the salt and you're the pepper. Mm. Salt and pepper. Mm. We, mix, we mix really good, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> mm. The salt is always next to the pepper. Oh, my son. And the pepper is always next to the salt. I'm sure to be without the pepper. Oh, <laughs> baby. I'm sure to be without the salt. <laughs> <laughs> my husband. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. You're the bestest, though. You're the bestest. I'm just not. <sighs> caramel, caramel, go away. Caramels. You know what I'd like to do sometime? Get a great big ice cream cake. Oh, man, but this big. You know what we should do? What? Sit down and eat some ice cream. What well, now? Yeah. Oh my god, Daryl, I'll be sick. <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not joking. Yes, you are joking. Let's get a little dish. Mm. Come on. No. Mm. You're joking. Did you see what we just eat? I know. It's ridiculous. I know you want ice cream. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to our subscribers. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Oh, Daryl. We're going to go out and have run some here and see. It's been like an hour and 49 minutes, man. No, 149 minutes. <laughs> Just us being us. Daryl is my little bestest husband ever. You're the best. No. Five thirty. We have our supper done. We had an early supper. Dinner. Yep. What'd you call it? Dinner? Supper? Dinner. Supper. Well, supper, right? No, dinner. In Newfoundland, we call it breakfast. Dinner. Supper. No, in, in Newfoundland, it's breakfast, lunch. No. Dinner, lunch, 
supper. Oh my God! And yes. a bedtime snack, so six meals of wood. Dairy, Dairy Queen, or Baskin Robbins. Oh yeah. Um, Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen, totally for me. What do you think, Dairy Queen or Baskin Robbins? The Ralphie's freezer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny, that's sick of me. Oh, uh, joking. Uh, Dairy Queen or Baskin Robbins? Uh, Dairy Queen. Yeah. Dairy, Dairy Queen. Queen is so creamy. I know. It's so mouth watering. It is. Delicious. It is. And what was the other one? What was the, what was the other? Baskin Robbins. What's Baskin Robbins? What Baskin Robbins. Um, oh, the comments are delayed. That's not good. Um, Baskin Robbins. It's an ice cream shop. Yeah. But it's. um. Where is that at? I think it was back in Newfoundland. They just opened one just before we come here. Mm. I think. Or no, that was uh, up by Walmart there. What was that called? Up by Walmart. Julius or something? What was it? it was like a slushy store or something. Yes, Suwagi. Have a good night. Rest. And we will see you either in the next video or the next live. Have a great night. Which was like in a train. Mmm. Wow. Getting tired now. Yep. All that bread. Man, the kabata bread was Chips, like. Chips. Did you guys see the kabata bread? It was like, well, we got a good thumbnail. I'm going to have to go do a thumbnail for a group. Mm. Um, the, the bread was so thick. Kabata bread is like, right, it's like triangle, right? And it's right high, right thick, right? Mm -hmm. So filling, man, the bread. Totally. So I guess we should eat our mukbang. Yeah, our live mukbang. To the beach. Yep, we gotta go for a little bit. Gotta get some Run fresh some air. Errands. Yep, pick up some more produce actually. Produce? Yes. Good choice. So I have to get some more produce. Sounds like a good plan. Yep. So we're gonna. Yes, we love Dairy Queen too. Mm. Excuse me. Yep, Dairy Queen is the best, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, you too, Emma. Have a great evening or day wherever you are in the world. Mm -hmm. I didn't catch where Emma's from, did we? Did we catch? I can't no, wait, no, Emma said where she was from. Oh my gosh. Kebab England. Yes, England. They're yes. all England. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Spy. Yes, you yes, too, you Gwyneth. Gwyneth. For sure. So, oh. yeah, what? Well, I hope to see you doing a mukbang. Uh, mukbang real soon. Yes, we're going to be watching your channel, girl. See if you're going to put up a video. Even <laughs> if it's just something like five minutes, you know. It's not a big deal, hey. Like, you know what I mean with the mm. time? It doesn't have to be too long. Yes. Oh. Oh, wish you came on a little while ago, Gwyneth. Mm -hmm. We're on here 154 minutes. Mm. That's well over two hours. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, one night the week we'll be on, or we will be on next weekend, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on that note, we should hit the road. The road. Yeah, we'll catch up with you guys soon. Mm. Have a great night, you guys, or hey, bye. Yes, bye. Hey, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so are you originally from Newfoundland, Gwyneth? I think she told us, yes. Does she? Is she new? Not this time, but no, the last time. No, no, she... that was Melanie. Melanie's new fee. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Melanie. Remember Melanie? Mm. Yeah. Can't remember.
remember. I don't. I'm not sure if Gwyneth is Nuki. I guarantee she got lots of Nukies around her in Ontario. Mm. Bye bye. Yeah. In Ottawa, she's yep. from. Yep. Nukies are scattered everywhere. They are like salt and pepper. They're out there everywhere. Mm. They're sprinkled all over the place. Yep. Mm. Well, we should head her out. Mm -hmm. Have a great night, everybody. We'll catch you next time back here on the Ralphies. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. Oh, Gwyneth said no, uh, Ottawa. Okay, she's from Ottawa. But guaranteed, there's new fees around. Oh, for sure. Yeah, the comments are not coming in too fast, eh? No, no she looked as... She said that. Mm -mm. <laughs> salt butter cup. Not too much. Oh, yeah. You want to go? I guess. Yeah, we'll head out now. It's over two hours. Yep. It's 150. Eight. Almost eight minutes. Wow. We're good. Okay, so on that note, for the. I think this. How many times trying to end the video? <laughs> <laughs> Three or four, maybe? Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys next time back here on the Ralphies. Have a great night, everybody. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. Peace. Peace. We're out of here.